Welcome back to another Dino Days video. This is a JDM EP3. It's got some lovely mods on it. We've seen it before, um, and it has been mapped on the Doctronic ECU. Today, it's had some RDX injectors fitted because his old injectors seem to be falling apart, I'm told. So we're going to get it up on the dot. Well, it is up on the dyno, but we're going to start tuning it. So here we go. JDM White EP3. You've seen this one before, haven't we? This is the second time we've seen this car, yeah, yeah. to be fair. Uh, he's fitted a inlet manifold and he says the injectors were a bit brittle and things were sort of crumbling on them. So he went for some RDX injectors. Available on our website. Yeah, so we fitted those this morning uh, and then we put it back on the dyno and mapped. Uh, a Doctonic CTU, this car. Uh, not something that we've seen a lot of, to be fair, is it? But we have seen it on this car before. Do you like it? Uh, it's a tool, ain't it? It's, it's a, a tool. tool. Yeah, it's just a tool. Does a job. Yeah, I can't. I'm not saying it can't be tuned because we've just done it. It's just that outside your comfort zone slightly, I suppose. You're used to the Honda and, and the other platforms. You like what you years. like, don't you? Yeah, you like what you like. It's 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 basic, but it's functional. Yeah, it's like basically it. the way it's I like describe me. it. Way I describe it. A bit like me, basic but functional. Yeah, barely. <laughs> Depending on the temperature, of course. Well, if you're cold, you're useless, aren't you? I am cold, you know. I've, I'm missing my work hat. I've took my scarf off for this. Didn't my, you give it to Nicky Gower? Yeah, the track, my uh, work hat I gave to Nick with my torch on it. I gave to Nick Gower and then I haven't seen it since on the track day. Yeah. So if he's watching. If you're watching Gower. Where's my hat? Dr. Artek Gower. Yeah, where's my hat? Where's my hat? I'm going to mess you in a minute. Yeah, do it. You should do it. Absolutely. absolutely. Where my where's, where's my hat, Phil Collins? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. So we finish on 247 brake horsepower. We do. It's not bad at all. No, I don't think so. I mean, it's uh, again not a massive amount of mods on this car, really. Obviously, it's a JDM engine, and obviously that it comes with cams and different blah 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 blah. So we did two forty last time on this car, so just shy, uh, just shy. yeah. So it did really well last time, and we probably made it around around the eight to ten break in, in certain places, which is exactly what I would expect realistically from the inlet manifold. So mm. I think that's bang on. Want to look at the graph? Yeah, so look at the graph. Let's do it. Well, unfortunately, the compressor is going nuts in the background as they are air chiseling out some rear beam bushes on an FN2. But as you can see, red light is as she came in, blue light is as she leaves. Power made her across the rev range there, finishing on 247 brake, just shy of 200 of the wheels. Lovely, lovely. What a stunning car. I absolutely love a white EP3. You don't see them very often. Its engine bays are very tidy as well. All these parts are available on the Dyna Days website, so if you do need help or you need a set of RDX injectors or an inlet manifold, do give us a shout. Um, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, and we uh, we love you all. We'll see you soon. Boy, I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. 